Hello everyone, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. Now, previously, we managed to get ourselves some Wither Skeleton Skulls, if I can spell. There it is. <laughs> so far, we've got 1,250. Saying that, yeah, these don't have a uh, EMC value. Skeleton Skulls do, apparently, so interesting. Uh, but we need to make one skeleton skeleton one wither one wither because with that we can get another star and then we can use this thing which has got lots of emc in it right now to make a bunch more nether stars because there's a few bits i want to make that require nether stars let's have a look before we actually get in there so nether star first one is a beacon we might as well upgrade our backpack as well because Right now, it's just a little bit smaller. So, we want to make a beacon because you can use that to make... Oh, cool, a chunk loader. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, you can use that to make a fully charged tempad. So, a tempad lets you just teleport from wherever you are. So, beacons on the on the list. Wouldn't mind making one of these infinity upgrades. Interesting. We might as well make... Uh, actually, no. Let's make the Infinity one because we're not going to different dimensions right now. Uh, if we get into Compact Machines, maybe we look into making the uh, Dimensional card because technically Compact Machines are a different dimension. Other than that, we definitely want to make a Philosopher's Stone. Um, Sorcerer's Stone if you're American for some reason. Maybe a wither builder, but I mean, we're making so much EMC as it is. I don't think we need to make a wither builder. This was kind of my original plan, which is why I got into industrial foregoing. Purely for the uh, wither builder, but don't really need that now that I think about it. EMC is just completely out of my head for loads of things because uh, a lot of packs just like completely disregard a bunch of stuff that is EMC like worthy didn't notice that this has emc <laughs> to be fair but we should probably what my plan is by the way is um we're going to use an energy condenser and we're going to get a ton of oh brilliant loads of chickens in here we're going to get a ton of these chickens the netherite or did we find the emerald one was the best you know what? i think the emerald one might be better so I think I might make a bunch more emeralds and then you just stick it on top of the energy condenser and like pipe in the uh, the emeralds to it and you get like a good amount out of that. So yeah, that's how we're going to bulk make EMC. But I do want to make the tablet as well. Tablet. Ooh, hello. One of these. So we kind of need to get into all of these things. The chest itself has got EMC. Okay, interesting. Nitro crystals we can't make yet because we don't have any nether stars. But I think my plan is I'm going to get like a couple stacks of nether stars. And then we'll just try and craft all of this. Uh, you're, uh, yeah, I want to make one of these compressors. Can you not make that to begin with? Oh, it's a collector. I think, yeah, you need to make this collector first. Yeah. Once you made the collector, you can then... Uh, you can make some of this... This stuff. Some of these ingots. And then, yeah, from that, we're going to make ourselves a uh, transmutation tablet. Makes sense. Although, I did forget about the silverfish part. Drops from the silverfish mother. Summon the boss dungeon. Summon in the boss dungeon beyond the end ring. So we are going to have to take our destruction gadget and just go even further. And then we'll uh, we'll get ourselves out past the end. That might be the plan for today then. We're going to get ourselves another star. And then we're going to go past the end ring to try and get this silverfish mother. I should probably mention that... Why is there a wither skeleton... Why can't I hear it all the way up here? That's a bit crazy. Anyway, I should mention that I've swapped out the 
oak logs for Arcacia, because someone mentioned it's actually four times, not just like two times, like I thought it was. Uh, so I've done that now. I think right now it's full. It's full up. So I, yeah, it's not actually sucking any more liquid out of there. But yeah, um, I've got some of this tinted glass because it says it prevents, uh, well, prevents light and it's tough enough to withstand the wither. So we're going to trap it in here and get our first kill. So uh, I was making myself a quick crusher. I'm doing it in this one. Yeah, there it is. Right, there you go. That's been crafted. So we've got ourselves another mob crusher. Do I have my flux points in here or are they in my bag? They're in my bag. Perfect. And I probably do have an add-on as well. I'm going to use the plus three range just because we've got it auto-crafted. I could use a smaller one, but yeah, I'm going to use this one for now. I think I might do it down here because we're not really using this. Um, also, I don't think I've mentioned this, but you can put these sky blocks, literally called sky blocks, in here. And uh, yeah, you can see out. And it looks kind of cool. It's a bit trippy, I must admit, but yeah, I thought those were kind of neat. So I'm going to. Oh, okay. I've already got those there. Just build out a little area. I am going to fill the corners in and everything, just because. Uh, let me build this box and then we'll be back in a sec. Okay, I've got everything set up. This box is in there. All I need to do is slap this down, run out, put the two glass down, and we should be good to go. One and two. And there you go. That should trap the wither in there. Uh, fingers crossed. Ooh, might do an explosion which might hurt, so. And he's gone. And there's our nether star. Brilliant! Well, that's kind of all we needed with that, because we can make a bunch more. Thank you to uh, Project E, I suppose. Uh, I also think these... These nether stars are almost the exact same, if not the exact same, as uh, dark matter. Interesting to know, I suppose. There you go, a couple of stacks of uh, nether stars. Let's, let's make a couple of bits just because we got these now. So first one we want to make is probably a beacon because then we can use this beacon to make the temp pad. Oh, you need actual proper tinted glass. Okay. Temp pad. Hey. Uh, run program. New location. Add location. Oh, okay. Home. Add location. If I go over here. Huh! <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. It like opens up a little door. Do I have to recharge this? Oh no, it takes time. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Right, so that's the first nether star down. What else do we need to use? Nether stars for. Uh, upgrading the backpack. So all I should need... Uh, it does say to remove everything from your backpack before you do anything. So I am going to do that. In fact, there's a lot of stuff. I'm just going to lob it in the system for now. We can grab that stuff out later. Uh, I think we should just... Upgrade it and then can we upgrade it again? Looks like we can, so let's do that. Ultimate backpack, and then this one I don't think goes any bigger, but if we open it up, whoa! Oh, I like that, that it goes down the edges. <laughs> That's a really cool little. Ah, uh... oh, that is really nice. I like that. Okay, so we got a new backpack. What else can we do? Well, that's a quest as well. That's. Thank you for the straw. Uh, we can put this in our backpack. I wonder if it's still... Yeah, it does. Nice. Okay. Uh, I didn't mention it, but I got myself a uh, temporal pouch. 
or time in the bottle, whatever you want to call it. But I left this AFK this morning. I, I made this thing. And then uh, I went and did a few bits around the house, and I managed to get myself two and a half hours. Three and a half hours, sorry. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, now we've uh, got the backpack, and let's move backstage. Ignore this now, because it's very, <laughs> very cramped. I did make a uh, multi-servo, because I wanted to make some aluminium like plate things I'll explain that in a bit but basically uh, why did I come back here oh I remembered it was so I could grab these right like this Get back out here and then infinite range this does drain the power like a lot like a lot a lot but that is now infinite range so it's good to see let's have a look see how much that's doing 4,000. Oof, that's fine. I think 4,000 is alright. Uh, we can make a couple more of those and then we can get uh, the dimensional one, but as I said, we're not going to do that. Not yet, at least. Philosopher's Stone is definitely a big check on the list right there. Project E. Tick. Uh, we've got the Watch of Flowing Time. It's probably something we should make. Oh, uh, yeah, we can make that. We can make that quite easily, I'd say. I think we can make that quite easily. Anyway, yeah, we've got the, the Philosopher's Stone now, which can be used for making a bunch of things. Interdiction torches, pretty good. Uh, you can use it as a crafting table, which is why there's 4,000 recipes, but these are the few that you can do. So you can make... Iron into gold, iron into ender pearls, gold into iron, diamonds. You can make this fuel stuff, which you need for a bunch of things. Alchemy table. Arcane transmute portable built in crafting functionality. Okay. What is this arcane table? I actually don't know what this does. Maybe we should try it. Uh, arcane table. Is that, that not what it was called? Oh, uh, is it going to crash? Because I just looked up recipes on that. This has been happening more and more recently. I think it's to do a refined storage. Okay, we'll just have to leave that for a sec. So we can use. Oh, I'm not going to look up. Yeah, let's do this again. What was it? Transmutation. Ah, there it is. So now we can do one of these. Oh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's making us. Because that's the power thing, right? There you go. Alchemy table is what it was called. So what can we use this for? Oh, it takes some EMC and then you can turn things into other things. Awesome. Ah, oh, we could have got feathers this way. It's nice to see. We can get chorus fruit from this. Pretty good. Bread turns into cake. I like it. Okay. Is there things in here that you can't normally get? Do we need to use this for a few bits? I, I don't know. Interesting. Right, anyway. Uh, what else can we use? Uh, I'm going to get out of that before I use... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Look at uses on this. Uh, no, there's only a few bits. But you can use the world transformation thing. So andesite turns into granite or diorite. You can use oak to turn into any other log and so on and so on. Stripped into any, wood into any, leaves into any, saplings... Okay. Fair enough. Okay, well, I'm not sure how useful this is other than making the, the different fuel types. So we just lob that in the system for now. I'm not sure how useful the backpack will be other than to for storing like our tools that we regularly access. 
Uh, oh yeah, I've, I've got a bunch of, I've been opening my loot crates. So every so often I've just been going like that, getting a bunch of stuff. Basic item collector is always good. And the pulse. Interesting. Uh, that one might be quite good. Oh, we, oh, okay. I was going to say, we got a wither skeleton skull from this, but then we don't actually need that because we've already got our wither skeleton skulls, but also there's no EMC value for it, so you can't make yourself a uh, wither, a nether star. I always say wither star, but I know that's not right. Uh, but yeah, just been making these. What the heck is that? That's really good because I know <laughs> I know it's just a piece of clay that's been enchanted. But there is some things from Industrial Foregoing which let you rip off enchantments. So I'm going to put that in the backpack so it doesn't get used up. And we can rip those enchantments later. Uh, what else do we need for the nether stars? Nether star. So it was to make this thing, uh, not not that exact thing, but to making the things to make the the ingots. What was it? Crystal matrix ingot. So let's get one of those crafted because then we could just chuck it in and get like a bunch of these. Looks like we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus. Uh, what's the compressor used for? I'm not exactly sure. Oh, this thing's the thing that you use for the crafting later on. Got ya. Oh, I was about to say, a polonium pellet singularity sounds like the worst thing ever, but it's only eight. So you only need eight polonium pellets. And we've got a lovely way of automating that. So if it's still in here, let's have a look. Wasted... Oh, wasted radioactive bees on in here. That's a bit of a pain. Oh yeah, because bees wouldn't be in here at all. Never mind. Uh, that's from uh, one of my other series that I'm doing right now. That one doesn't look too bad. Flux Networks doesn't look too bad. We'll have to figure out a way of automating Flux. This one doesn't look that bad. These have got EMC anyway, so that's fine. Nitro crystals again seems fine. Ugh, got to do some blood magic. I'm not a big fan of blood magic. Uh, yeah, all of these look all right. We can figure that one out. Balloons, amazing. Balloon singularity. Flipping neck. None of these have got EMC either. Brilliant. Hemp. We have been getting hemp, but I don't think we've got enough to make 1,200. Yeah. It's quite a lot. Right, anyway, so this is not the first thing we need to make. We need to make this thing. But it does mean we need to make one of these crafters. Oh, dear. So we need a lot more of these crystal matrix ingots. Let's just convert all of those into this. I'm going to get a couple of stacks of... Yeah, let's get a load of emerald blocks. There should be quite a lot of uh, these crystal matrix thingies. Yeah, sod it. That'll do for now. Luckily, we've still got our setup up here. So let's let's go and make one of these. And just like that, got ourselves a double compressed. We can go in there. I'm going to ignore the loot B for now, even though I probably shouldn't. All of those should compress and we'll get the crafting table. This thing's proper quick now as well, which is lovely. Hey, extreme crafting table. I see you. Uh, I might put this one here. Hey, nice. Right, so for this one we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does it stay in there? It does. Awesome. I wonder if I can do this. I can. Huh. Nice. There you go. So what does this do? It's 
just collecting neurons, okay? Is that going to give us a, a nugget or an ingot? Probably a nugget, right? A bunch of stuff just disappearing right there. Whoa, quivers. Quivers, you can definitely go in my little trash chute that I've got. Uh, these are the ones that have been clogging up our system. Are those going down? Yeah, they are. Slowly. Oh, I just collected a reward and I got chocolate cake. <laughs> Brilliant. Getting all the cake in this series. It's not bad. Cake is not a lie. Why, why are you clicked over there? Okay. So this gives you... Oh, really? So it's like a nugget of a nugget you get from this. There you go. Let's sped it up a little bit. It doesn't have the nice little, uh, you know, four times, six times, or four times, eight times, or whatever, that you get from time in a bottle, but it's got a nice little ding to it, and it tells you exactly how much in uh, when you hover over it, so that's not bad. Okay, that took how many minutes? Not too long, like a minute, an extra minute. Okay, we'll wait for this to finish, and then we'll be back. And there we go, we got ourselves a pile of neutrons. Brilliant. Watch your flowing time will probably go really well with one of these. Or multiple of these. You can make like... I don't know what the range on the watch your flowing time is, but we could definitely make like a bunch of these and then have like a ton coming in. I think that might be the plan. Might be the play. Uh, that is going to get us... Ooh, nice. Get a block of that. Uh-oh. Compact giant chance cube. Oh, I know what we can do. Uh, we can get some uh, stuff from power. That's power. We can make some of these. Nitro crystals. There you go, that's making us nitro crystals. Uh, I need to go put a um, stack upgrade on the importer of that. That's so cool. <laughs> now, I've already said that I want to go out to get the mother uh, silverfish thing. So I'm not going to do what I want to do right now, which is make a couple of power reactors. Stick them on the wall here. Uh, but maybe that's one for next episode, because... There's some interesting ways of getting uranite, so I'll show you that at some point. But this episode, we are just going to grab our destruction gadget. And we are going to just go really, really far in this direction. And then figure out how to summon the silverfish boss. Never mind, I think we need to get some more of these uh, silverfish shard things. And then you... you ooh, hello. Summoning altar. The heck is that thing? Can be found in end city structures. Uh, okay, that makes sense then. So you need some cold silverfish. Can be found in dungeon in the stone area. Okay, uh, we've got loads of these. Warm. How are these found? Uh, nether area. Oh dear. And then we got loads of eggs, so we're we're fine with that. Outputs. Eight skeletons and mother silverfish. Okay. Uh, so, ooh. Interesting. We've been playing with this a little bit, the syringes, in uh, my other series right now, which is all the mods eight. We need that for one of their recipes, but not the silverfish. It was a different thing. But we do... We can use this as a spawner. So we can use this in a spawner. I'm not exactly sure what the thingy is for it, but RF Tools has a spawner you can use. Maybe we do that. I'm going to make myself a syringe, and then we'll do that. But it looks like we need to go back out to the nether place, loot a couple of chests, and then uh, 
yeah, we'll have to find some of those warm silverfish shards. Is that what they're called? Warm ones, yeah. And then we'll probably go out to the end and find ourselves a ritual starter. Where's this thing? Like, can I make this? It doesn't have a recipe. Interesting. I'll have to look that one up. But I think, yeah, we'll have to do the other bits first, which makes sense. You can't just instantly go out there. Tis fine. Uh, maybe we need a bit of potions. Potions might help a little bit. You know what? I'm going to switch gears completely. We're going to do a bit more Ars. Ars Nouveau. Because you can make a spell book which does like tons of damage. And it'd be nice to get into it. I know people have been asking for a bit of Ars Magica. So Ars Nouveau. Sorry. I, why did I say Magica? That's so weird. Magica is like the old version. Three piles of neutrons. Amazing. We definitely need to up this. Uh, this probably constitutes a compact machine. And we'll have a compact machine that just like pulls all of these out and has a watch of flowing time in there. And then we can pull that into our system. Might be a good idea. So for Ars Nouveau, the first thing you want to do is make one of these things. Imbuement chamber. Uh, I don't have any of that wood, but... Ta-da! Uh, I've started making a little area for... Uh, Ars Nouveau. So uh, we're going to have this bit for something, this bit for something, this bit. And this one over here is going to be our source generation area. Uh, it looks like a lot of source berries, and it is. Uh, so yeah. If you haven't been watching my other series, I recently set one of those up. But uh, oh, you get the leaves. That's nice to see. Right, I'm going to double up on the wood, I think, on these ones. And if all I need to do is get a, a bit of this wood, but actually I'm going to lock these first. Ooh, okay. These are the things that can go in my backpack. I'm just going to take some of this wood. I probably need a few of these actually, so let's get a bit more. What did I just do? Why did I make some... Oh, brilliant. There you go. How many of these can we make? Four. Brilliant. Okay, over here should probably be our little area. So one and two, one and two. And then all you do for these, I don't know what the recipes are in this. Okay, there you go. That's how you do it. This doesn't actually require source, I don't believe. So you can put a lapis or amethyst in there. Ah, you can make essences and stuff. They can make a block of it, but that's not good because a block is just four of them. Unless a block of amethyst... Um, how do I make one of these? Is it just four? It is four. I, I, sorry, let's just use these then. It says uh, crafting, add a source nearby to increase the crafting speed. But as you can see, these do go up. In progress they're very slow until you've got a bit of source uh, so yeah it'd be good to get these sorted over here but first we need a couple of those source gems so that's the first one off that's the imbuement chamber I did make a chisel so I'm trying to use a little bit of chisel block just make it so this is my typical like look I go for like a little laboratory sort of setup, but I feel like magic needs a better look. So I am trying. Uh, it's not the nicest I know right now, but I'll try and improve it as I go. Not really a builder. I know everyone says they're not really a builder, but I'm really not. I like to automate stuff. So anyway, uh, yeah, we need to get some source gems. And then, what is it after that? There might be a few quests on it. Ah, Ars Nouveau. Diamond chest, lovely. So we need to make one of these source links. We are obviously going to go for the Agrigomic, I think one of these. Uh, but we also are going to go for one of these things as well, the mycelial source link. 
This is like a twofer. It's a two for one. Uh, there's another way of getting source, which I might build into the sides over here. Which is, I'm going to set up a bunch of these red, what they call blazing archwood uh, hopper bonsais. Get them all feeding into the... Uh, I always get them mixed up. Is it the volcanic or is it the vitalic? Oh, I should probably make the book for this, but I think it's one of these two. Volcanic, maybe it's the volcanic, I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Subtitles. What? Cancel. Uh, we've got some source jars. I think we got those from a quest. Jar. Oh, no, the potion jars. Okay, source jar seems to be easy enough. Uh, one, two, three. Let's make a few of these because I know we're going to need a bunch. Source jar. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna plonk them like th oh, not there. Plonk them here for now. I tried. I'm trying to, to make it look pretty. I I promise. Uh, I will do something about the walls at some point, but for now, this is what it's gonna look like. So the whole plan with this is we are gonna get uh some starbuncles to collect all of these source berries, and then they're gonna chuck them in that ender chest right there. Then the mycelial source link, you can feed it some of the source berries. And then the source berries will produce some source for us. So that's kind of what I was thinking. Looks like I actually had a couple of source gems, so I did just make some of those. Uh, these are done now. Perfect. And we can obviously turn these into source gems as well. Um, Probably need some more. Let's just grab all the amethyst blocks because I don't believe you can split these up. Uh, we've already got a hearthstone, those look kind of cool. Uh, you can crush them and maybe you'll get four, but uh, we could have used a multi servo, I suppose. It is fine. Uh, we need these source gems anyway, so anyway. Uh, I've got one of these agrogomic. Oh, this is going to be annoying because these do like ghost damage to you. It interesting. There. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. Oh, man. Uh, so that is now getting. So, um, in fact, we could probably plonk these around that source link. Anyway, that was to get us some source, and we did that. So we got a random tier 4. Not bad. Um, the next thing is source relays. So we can use the relays to, like, send the source out here, for example. We can use the source out here for stuff. So... We could send it over to this and speed this up, like drastically speed this up. Uh, get some source, perfect. Um, we do want to set up a Starbuncle, so we need to make the ritual... No, we don't need to make the ritual blaze, brazier. <laughs> Almost said blazer then. We need the enchanting apparatus, which I believe we've got. That's ours. So we've got three arcane pedestals. We've got the enchanting apparatus. That is the quest complete. Obviously, we haven't set anything up yet. Repair talisman. Belt slot. Yes, please. Look at my armor. It's going up. That one there is going up in durability. So is my boots. If I had this damaged it would go up as well how cool is that repair talisman really good actually is it difficult to make you can't even make it no way okay well we got really lucky then and we got that brilliant uh, i think i might make this my apparatus area so this is what i've come up with uh, i am just gonna slap down the recipe that i already know 
which is wow i had to look this one up because it's different in most packs but this one is just three source gems you get some gold nuggets one two three four five yeah and then you put the star bunkle in the middle and i forgot the arcane core oh yeah i just i've completely left it there i knew i needed to put it there but arcane core excellent why did i forget this that's so weird there we go <laughs> now we should be able to stick that one in I uh, don't know where my sounds are for this, but yeah, weird. The sounds have gone, but that's how you get the uh, Starbuncle charm. Now, I'll show you what it's like when you've only got, ow, when you've got one of these. Oh, this is going to be a right pain in the bum. I might actually remove these ones here. That's actually not a bad plan. Ow. Ow. Uh, yeah, I've got a... Put them down and then use the domination wand. So I did get a domination wand, didn't I? I got it last episode, I believe. One of these bad boys. Stick them down. And you go, eh? And then do I shift and then click on this? I think I do. Something like that. Position set. Is that all I need to do? I can never remember. Fingers crossed he's going to start running around picking up these source berries now. Are you going to do it? Starbunk will take from this inventory. No. Stored entity. Taking from... No, I don't want it. Eh. There you go. So, take from... Okay, you will store that now. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, the Starbunk is now going to harvest all of these berries. And put them, oh my goodness, yeah, put them in here. So, there you go, you can see Starbuncle's doing that. I'm going to do that with the rest of the Starbuncle thingies that I've already managed to collect. And we're going to get six of them, and they're all going to fill up that. Because um, when these grow, the agra thingy will like start filling, see there? It just got a beam, and then it's filling that one up. Got another beam, it's filling a different one up. So, the two pronged attack here is the source berries will feed the mycelial source link, which we can put anywhere else. And the agrogomic one will feed these jars right here. Uh, so, I need to do these ones. And with all of those set up, I just set this up. So, this is uh, the ender chest that we had previously. This is the um, the purple, purple, purple one. We've got the mycelial source links and some arcane pedestals. I'm just using the ultimate trans transport pipes because, well, they're purple, right? And everything else is purple. They're piping out into the pedestals. This thing is eating those berries, turning it into source. This thing over here is quite interesting as well. So I've got a, a dark oak drawer. And what I can do is set all of these with some lapis, because we've got tons of lapis now, right? And they instantly get turned into, or not instantly, but pretty quickly get turned into source gems. So that's a good way of getting source gems. I've set a few more up as well. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put over here, but I'm going to put something over here. And then this one is for the enchanting apparatus. There's a few things in here that I think require source. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but we've got source over here just in case. This one we're definitely going to need to do. Ooh, you need Silverfish Heart to make the Drag Me Charm? No way. Interesting. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's making us a bunch of source. All of these are now... Like we can help it along as well just by... doing some of that and that is the beginning of some R's not bad right anyway I'm going to call it there for this episode so thank you for watching thanks for joining and uh, I will see you in the next one bye